Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Osita calls court order for Tinubu's record release from Chicago State University, a source of national shame, says Nigeria has been shamed beyond measure. He said the Chicago State release, the, the result that has been released right now, is the sh show of shame, and nobody can begin to imagine how far you know Nigerians you know are suffering. It's a show of shame, not just nationally, internationally. You don't understand it. You don't understand that Tinubu represents us internationally and is seen as the president of the country. So if they want to say Nigeria, they associate Nigeria to the president, who happens to be President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like or share, subscribe. Osita, the former minister of aviation, has expressed his dismay over a recent United States court order instructing Chicago State University to release the academic record of President Bola Metinubo. The request for these records came after a large Alaji Atiku Abubakar, the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party in the 2023 presidential election, characterized his court order as a national embarrassment, saying this will show to the world that Nigeria cannot be credible. In his response shared on his official social media platform, Osita questioned why several key Nigerian institutions, including the Department of State Services, the National Intelligence Agency, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, and the Nigerian Embassy in Washington, D.C., failed to uncover the truth about President Bola Metinubu's academic history. He emphasized that if it were relevant that the occupant of this nation's highest office has forged his certificate, it will be a significant shame on the leadership and relevant institution of Nigeria. It is a shame, a sharia of shame. It has shown that this man who occupies this highest office does not have a certificate or forged it or took somebody else's certificate. The recent U.S. court order directing Chicago State University to release President Bola Metinubu's academic record to Alaji Atiku Abubakar is a national disgrace. This is disheartening that our democratic institute could not resolve this matter, leaving it to foreign courts. Nigerians have called upon this matter, but nothing has been done to the extent that the U.S. are now the one revealing it. Do you understand the level of shame that has gone on so far? Our nation boasts on various ag agencies, such as Department of State Security Services, the National Intelligence Agencies, the Independent National Electoral Commission, the Nigerian Embassy. These are all supposed to verify information brought about by people. But guess what? Nothing has been done. What a shame that this had to be brought to international scene and the authenticity of who Tinubu really claimed to be in his credentials, now shamefully reveal before the world. This could have been contained in Nigeria before going out there to the world, allowing a person to resume or assume presidency without a clear record of qualification is a national tragedy. For over two decades, President Tinubu's qualification have remained a constant bone of contention, yet nobody looked into it. Oh, under his leadership, individuals faced allegations and public scrutiny and keep and these people are in key position even security screening nothing can be done or has been done in nigeria properly what a sharia and issue of shame in foreign court nigerian's president running back and forth to say the result should not be revealed it should be revealed see how things have gone we must urge and ensure that all these people who qualify themselves as security agencies and carry big titles do their job. They are not doing their jobs. Hence, we are being shamed on the international scene. It is terrible. Right. Mr. Alcita, if you if you talk that way to me, we're waiting one minute, we can't talk now. You don't finish the whole matter now. You know, people that should check Tinubu's credibility, they did not do their work. I'm sorry, but that's what happened. They didn't do their work. Now, internationally, see the way Nigeria is being looked upon. You don't understand it. These are people that should, you know, check and ensure 
that the right thing is done. But what did we have? Sweetheart, what do we have? What do we have? People that should come out and ensure that the right things are done did not do their work. They did not. They allowed the nation to be where it is today. People are sincerely, truly crying. You see, people are sincerely, truly crying because our credibility has been wounded. You like it or not, you know, internationally, Nigeria has been wounded. You don't understand it. Nigeria as a country has been wounded because the way we are being seen, respected, the kind of, you know, association, you know, that we should have at this point in time and what should have happened is quite a different ballgame altogether. The way Nigerians are being seen and everything going on is very obvious that we may have missed, you know, something important in the process because of choices, you know, because of people who are insisting that such an individual must be, you know, the president or must be this, must be that. During APC primaries, we had a lot of fantastic people. Yeah, a lot of fantastic people were there. Fantastic people. But, you know, when it came to the time to vote for who will represent the party, they, 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 they shut down everybody and they picked Ashiwaju. Am I saying Ashiwaju was not a candidate? No, probably people liked him. But we saw how that thing play out. Do you know what is going on now? In the next couple of hours, days, things, the matter will begin to unfold. First of all, uh, you know, someone has come out to say that the secondary school Tinubu said, he's now bold to say it. The secondary school Tinubu said he attended, did not start in 1974, although Tinubu attended the university in 1970. The first graduate from that university, we are in 1979, the same year. The first graduate from the secondary school was 1979. The same year Tinubu gained admission. admission. Uh, the same year, I beg your pardon, Tinubu graduated. The same year Tinubu graduated from Chicago State University. So who is deceiving who here? Who is deceiving who here? Can you see that? Hey, sweetheart. Hey, 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 hey. The matter is serious. It's serious where, where. So these are some of the things going on. And Nigerians, we need to pray. I go with help our credibility to rise again. No, I don't know what to say. Leave us a comment. Please don't forget to please like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Have a fantastic day from us. It's bye for now. Bye-bye.